everyone, welcome to Malaysian Chinese Kitchen. I am Linda, your host. Today, I'm going to make Sambal Balachan. This chili condiment is unique to the region because it uses Balachan shrimp paste. I'm going to be using a mortar and pestle, the traditional method of pounding it, but you can always use a blender to make this chili paste. First, we will have to toast the Balachan or shrimp paste in a small pan until crumbly. I like to sear all the sides before crumbling it. This should take about 3 to 5 minutes. A little blachan or shrimp paste goes a long way. Always buy the best grade you can find. My preferred brand is Cheong Kim Chuan, premium grade blachan from Penang, Malaysia. Set aside the toasted blachan and allow it to cool. Remove seeds from chilies and cut them into small pieces. A few bird's eye chilies may be added for extra spiciness. Half the lime. You can also use 2 to 3 limau kasturi if preferred. Transfer the chilies to a mortar and pound with the pestle until the pieces are broken. Scrape down the sides of the mortar when necessary. Add toasted balachan and continue to pound until desired fineness. Alternatively, Chilies and toasted blachan may be placed in a food processor and processed until fine. Squeeze in lime juice. And stir to mix. Transfer to a small serving dish. If not consuming the sambal balachan right away, Transfer to a jar and store in the refrigerator. Only squeeze in the lime juice just before serving. Sambal balachan is best consumed within 2-3 to three days. This wonderful sambal balachan adds zest to your dishes. It can also be used in salads or the karabu as it is known in Malaysia. Do give it a try. Please subscribe and as always, Happy cooking and thank you for watching.